Looks like the number of mobile homes and mobile home parks in Bozeman is shrinking. And that means fewer options for lower income residents. MTN's Cody Boyer is live in Bozeman with more on this trend. Cody. Caitlin, Kevin, according to tax records in the Gallatin County Treasurer's Office, mobile home parks like the one that I'm actually in right now have been seeing a steady de decline for nearly eight years, actually even before that. Now, those who work to find and help other people find affordable housing fear that this could make that a challenge. Losing that affordable housing stock is pretty devastating. When being able to afford a place to live becomes a problem, mobile home parks are a more affordable option. But when those start vanishing, there's a new problem. It's very challenging for those current residents and, and folks trying to help. That's where the Bozeman HRDC usually steps in to help a growing challenge. We have seen a decline in mobile home and trailer parks. Usually those land, that land is being sold for other residential development or commercial development right now. HRDC Housing Director Sherry Esslinger says the jury is out as to why. Well, trailers have a short lifespan and so sustainable affordable housing moving forward is it might they might be looking at a sustainability they might be looking at cost of infrastructure according to the Gallatin County Treasurer's office declines in neighborhoods like this one have been going on for some time it's not new news since 2011 they've been seeing a drop and even before that from 2011 up until this year almost 170 residents had to be evicted from their homes due to subdivisions moving in. This has happened before. In 2006, more than 90 residents were evicted from Bridgerview Trailer Court north of town for a subdivision project. And a year later, again, the same number in a mobile home park in Four Corners. That's a large number. It's something that we can't eat. Many are given about 180 days to relocate, but with a waiting list 12 to 18 months long in most cases, Esslinger says that's a whole other task, one that the HRDC and others are trying to find a solution for. We're ensuring that it's something that they can sustain moving forward. Esslinger says the HRDC is a good resource for those feeling the weight of this seemingly growing trend. Now, you can also schedule an appointment with a housing counselor there to get help there. Live in Bozeman, Cody Boyer, back to you. Okay, thank you, Cody. Well, our chief meteorologist, Mike Hurd, joins us now.